Bacock. <laughs> Can we keep this forever? Huh? We have to keep this forever. I love this. Yeah, it's, there's so many useful moments for Marie's chicken noise. I think you're right, right. about that. Welcome back, everybody. In today's cooking corner, we do are keeping. To, I do need. I don't know how to tie an apron in the back. Normally, we do this in the commercial break beforehand. There you go. David. Thank you, Heather. Thanks for taking care of me. Okay, I got to move my mic up too a little bit. Okay, so here's, here's, here's the deal. Okay. We wanted to keep chicken parmesan going, yes. but in a different way. We've tried out some restaurant dishes, but Chef Crystal Baldwin, we know, is an expert in the kitchen. She helps guide us through the grocery store to get what we need so that we can do the same stuff at home. Exactly. So we wanted your help so that we can make restaurant so quality chicken parm. Can we do parm. this at home, Crystal? So, so easily. And a lot of people make chicken parm. We talked about it at the stores and some of the other, you know, team members, and they were like, I make it. But there are a few little tricks that we can talk about. And okay. I left the chicken in the refrigerator so it's nice and cold. Oh, okay. There's two different ones. Out? Yeah, there's two different ones in there. There's one's a little flatter, but you'll see it's raw chicken and one on top too. Oh, I see. Is this okay. up for a sampling? Okay. That is for sampling. You could just nosh. You can yeah. switch places. No, I'm going to do that. Eat. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that would be good. Okay, we can I'm switch places. Okay. You, go, you go over I there. I will help so. cook, and Heather, you can just eat. I have. Um, <laughs> it's my job today. So I'm doing my it job, is your David. Day. It is your day. <laughs> I have a uh, chicken, and, and I got smaller chicken breasts because they're nice and tender. Mm -hmm. And then I pounded it. But a lot of folks, when they use their mallet, they use the tenderizer side to yeah, the, the, it. The, oh, yeah, the spiky side. Yeah, spiky side. Yeah. I do not. Okay. Oh, okay. Because what happens is maybe it's at the end of the day, you're getting mm. rid of some frustrations and you have chicken shards all over the place. Uh. And then maybe some chicken is left there, but it has holes. So use the flat side. Use the dull yeah, side. Use the, that's so your exactly aggression it. will not hurt your chicken that way. Well, if you get too carried away, it will. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but it'll help so that you don't have okay. that same issue. Good tip. Okay. So you I pounded it a little bit. Uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's really good. So in my flour mixture, I have some um, cayenne pepper, salt uh, uh, pepper, and then I have some Market District Italian seasoning. Okay? Oh, okay. okay. So I have used Market District Italian seasoning before. To say, you know it's what? fantastic. It's really it tasty. makes it super easy, too. It's really fresh, and you can buy just a little bit, and it's really economical. That's mm -hmm. why I like it, especially if there's not a lot of people in the house. It can become such an issue. Okay? So you don't have to dug this in an egg or anything first. You're I just... am going to dip it into egg. Oh, okay. And I'm the sorry. egg is hiding behind I'm flour, okay. egg, back mm -hmm. in the flour. Oh, so, see, you know I'm things. Going to, and I'm actually not going to go back Not many. Flowers. I don't know much. So, what I'm going to do is, because I don't want a real heavy breading, I'm not a real big breading girl here. Okay. So, I'm going to take and dip it in, and this is just a couple beaten eggs with a little bit of water. But you want to shake off all that extra flour, and then whenever you go to put it in, see how there's some little air bubbles that pop up on there mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. you end up with bald chicken I say bald chicken in the kitchen all the time the guys know I feel so bad now I like that's bald chicken make that stop <laughs> so you want to type and tap out those little air bubbles okay yeah and then we'll take and put it into our breading and this has just our plain breadcrumbs and some Parmesan cheese okay because you have a lot of flour a lot of flavor already and you just want to press it but you so put a little nice. grated cheese in there too. A little bit of okay. grated Parmesan cheese, yes. And I use a Parmigiano Reggiana. Um, I just like that it's nice, it's good, mm -hmm. it's aged, it's gummy, okay? So then you heat your pan up ahead of time and you want to see some movement. So you know I've been cooking in there mm -hmm. all, already. I can see the, the and what kind exactly. of oil do you use? Canola, canola oil, because okay. it okay. it can take the heat. So that's the great thing. So that's better than olive oil, the canola oil for this. It is, it okay. is. Okay. Look at that. So we're gonna so take and put that already. in. Okay. We're gonna talk in the refrigerator is another one because we're gonna talk variations while this okay. goes. Okay. Okay. So what I have in the fridge this, is. Am yep, I getting more yep, chicken? Yep. You can bring that okay. chicken out. Yep. I just cover it because I like to make sure that. Uh, it stays nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. So I have this chicken here, and I have another glove over here so I can pick it up. I stuffed one, and those are those. Oh. So I took ricotta cheese. Oh, I love okay? ricotta cheese. I love ricotta cheese I love ricotta oh, cheese so much. For <laughs> dessert, we mm -hmm. use a ricotta cheese, but good ricotta cheese, okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. I use a whole milk ricotta cheese. It's really good. So I took the chicken, and I made this teeny little pocket in here, mm -hmm. okay? Oh. And then I shoved a couple bait, um, um, basil leaves inside. Okay. And then I shove some 
ricotta cheese. And we have really great ricotta cheese wow. in the store, you know, hand dipped, you know, this made, is, oh really, really yummy stuff. No, yeah. you have to be kidding me. This yeah? is from Bennington, Vermont, which it is where is. my mom lives. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, little do we Maybe know. Maybe she was just there. Oh, she, she see that? Coincidences, awesome. it's all coming together. <laughs> so we so take we, and, and do that. Is this then, it? So that is not the ricotta. Oh, I I'm sorry. just put ricotta <laughs> in, okay? okay? So then over here, I did another one, and this is grilled. So mm -hmm. grilled it, and then with um, salt, pepper, garlic, and then Parmesan roasted tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So you just roast them at 350, olive oil, garlic, a little tomatoes. oregano. Yeah. So that's a nice way to go with it. Plus Summer, the folks are light, grilling. no yeah, breading, still get that flavor. Cheese, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we really should have had this in winter. It's not, this is not it's really okay. like probably a summertime Cravings competition. Cravings come when they come, right? right? <laughs> So then we take, we put this on. I think on. it's allowed all year right. long, Heather. Right. Thank you. What's different about this is we put a little bechamel sauce on there. Oh, it's okay? bechamel sauce. Yes, it's okay. bechamel. So and, it and gets And tell me creaminess. what bechamel is. I've bechamel heard of Bechamel is I take and put flour and oil in there, and I cook it into for about a minute. Then I add milk, um, garlic cloves, thyme leaves, uh, mm -hmm. or thyme. I actually put the whole thyme stem in there, and a bay leaf. And we let that cook till it gets nice and creamy, and then we take out the... Um, Ba thyme. Bay leaf and yeah. thyme and, and garlic. Then mm -hmm. I'll put it on because you just wow. said, they're looking at me like, I want to eat now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we take them and put that on really nice creamy base. Then I have our Market District pasta sauce. I am partial to the tomato basil. It's so fresh. It's, it's so fun. good. We take and dollop that on. So yeah. you didn't even heat this up. You didn't. Need I didn't to. heat it up because it's, it's going to go back in the oven. Oh, okay. oh, okay. It's going to heat up. My, get, my sauce, this sauce is hot, but I didn't okay. have to do it. And then I have some fresh mozzarella cheese. Is that? Oh. A, should I put more sauce on? As much as you like. Okay. Okay. So you're going to put mozzarella cheese on top of this? Well, yeah. Uh, oh, hello. I mean, <laughs> isn't that supposed to be cheese? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the parmiest. Cheese goes on top. And as okay. if we didn't have enough of that, I have some Parmesan cheese that mm. I put around here. Right here? Well, oh, we wait, could this? choose that one. Oh, I have that one. one. Yes, oh, I do. I'm, okay. So I take and just shred so some to, on top. Do, I bring it towards me. I tell folks okay. that this goes two ways, right? So both ways this works for you, okay? So oh. back and forth, okay? But you just take and you grate a lot of that on there. Wow. As much as you like, I like my cheese. And that's what this is, right? That's that is exactly what that is okay, there. Okay, so I've been digging okay? into this. And then you pop it back into the oven, mm -hmm. 350 for about five minutes till the cheese melts, gets really nice, beautiful, and you're good to go. Mm. Oh, it looks fantastic. So, it's so good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Thumbs up. Mm-hmm. So. This has been quite a day. I was about to say, <laughs> there's chicken parm everywhere. And it's nice to see how everybody else does their chicken parm. Right. It's yeah. exciting to see. It is. And you can do different variations and tastes, so it's, it hits everybody. I declare today a success. <laughs> <laughs> today is chicken parm day in the city of Pittsburgh. Our thanks to Giant Eagle for sponsoring the Cooking Corner here on PTL. And for a copy of today's recipe so you can make your own chicken parm at home, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com.